I'm Dr. Ophelia Tordesillas. I'm a pediatrician. I graduated from the USD College of Medicine in 1974, had my board exams in 1975, had my internship and pediatric residency training program at UPPGH, and in 1978, I started my private medical practice. So go figure it out. I've been in practice for the past 40 years. And I, must, I am already actually semi-retired. So what is Himuhim? Himuhim is a natural functional health supplement with specific immune function. And what does Himuhim stand for? Hemo is short for hemoglobin, X for hematopoiesis, or the process of manufacturing blood, I for immune or immunity, M for modulation, and him also in Korean means strength. Okay, yes. <laughs> so, what is immunity? Immunity ref refers to the capacity or the ability of our body to recognize and destroy pathogens. So, what are pathogens? Ito yung mga bac bacteria, viruses, fungi, and all those that can make you sick, that can harm our body. So immunity really is the ability to protect our bodies from harm, the ability to prevent our bodies from getting sick. So why take him with him? All of us need a very strong and healthy immune system. I don't know how many of you who are now present have heard me during the last Success Academy when I made mention that all of us we are made up of trillions of cells, individually all of us, made up of trillions of cells. And of the trillions of cells, only 10% are human, 90% are bacteria. So we're only 10% human, 90% bacteria. And at any given time, there is that symbiotic relationship between the good and the bad. Meron silang ecosystem. But there has to be that balance of 80-20, good, 20% lang dapat ang bad. Ganon. So you can just imagine how our immune system is put to task. Kasi from within lang, ang dami na yung kalaban eh. Ang dami ng bacteria. So yung pang nasa labas, mas ladong abundant ang bacteria. So yung ating immune system really works non-stop. So we really have to support our system, our immune system, for it to be healthy. So, what can harm our immune system? Environmental pollutants, like the exhaust fumes coming from all those thousands of vehicles around us, ultraviolet rays, alcohol, smoking, eating too much protein, eating too much sugar, fatty foods, pesticides in your fruits and vegetables, stress also. So collectively, or if I may add, anything with preservatives, instant food, lahat ng yan, collectively, we call them the free radicals. And if the free radicals are left unchecked, they will lead to oxidative stress or damage of our body. At pag nagkaroon tayo ng oxidative stress, yan ang nagiging sanhi ng premature aging, premature degeneration of our body, not only from the outside, but also from within. Alzheimer's, heart disease, cancer, those are just examples. So siguro kayo din, madalas maririnig nyo, bakit ang bata pa noon may rayuma na? Bakit ang bata pa inatake na sa puso? Bakit ang bata pa na-diagnose na na may diabetes, ganon? So courtesy of oxidative stress, courtesy of a very unhealthy lifestyle, and stress is really the number one cause of cancer nowadays. So you really have to be careful. So how can Himuhim help us? Himuhim can really help promote the recovery of our body against oxidative stress. If oxidative stress can lead to premature aging, bata pa, may wrinkles na, may rayuma na, Therefore, him or him can slow down the aging process. Yes. It's, it can slow down the degenerative uh, changes that may occur in your body. 
it has also been found out that hemohem can activate our immune cells. Immune cells, the like of your white blood cells, lymphocytes, the natural killer cells, the cytokines, which all play a significant role also, not just in fighting infections, but is also in fighting cancer. So, yun ang kahalagahan. And hematopoiesis, as I mentioned earlier, this is the process of manufacturing blood. You can see in the slide, before and after taking hemohem, you see a proliferation of the RBC population on your right as influenced by hemohem because it has also been found out that hemohem can activate your bone marrow to produce more blood cells and to increase the number of hemoglobin. It can also help boost stem cells stem cells which are very crucial to rejuvenation, repair, and anti-aging. Siguro marami kayong naririnig dyan na nagpa-stem cell para mas mukhang bata. Easily, that's 50,000 pesos per procedure. Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> so anyway, you don't, have to go through that you don't have to go through that process. You don't have to spend the 50,000 pesos. Him him will be enough. <laughs> To, to, yeah, to boost those stem cells to rejuvenate you. And then white blood cells. White blood cells are the cells of our immune system. They are very, very important because they are at the front line of our battle against infections. When our body gets assaulted by microorganisms, bacteria manyan, or viruses, the WBCs are really at the front line. Front line. Para siyang si Pac-Man, that it's everything and anything that gets in the way until they explode at maging pass. Diba? Kaya nga pag minsan, pag pa urinalysis ka, WBC or pass cells. Mga ganon. So, a patient with low white blood cell count is at great risk of acquiring infections. In the same manner, a cancer patient undergoing chemotherapy the oncologist really makes sure to monitor the WBC. Because in chemo, you not only kill the cancer cells, but also, yeah, including the WBC. And once the W, the white blood cell count really goes, really, really goes down, plunges down, the oncologist is forced to stop the chemo, or else he'll be literally killing the patient. So, as shown in this slide, you compare him with him with all the other immuno enhancers, and you see him with him how really superior it is compared to the other immuno enhancers. Let me share with you the story of my patient. He's 12 years old. He came to me with his mom, of course, and complains more than a year ng recurrent ang kanyang nose bleeding and konting magsalita, may shortness of breath. That was April 24, 2017. I requested for a blood count. The reason why meron siyang shortness of breath, kasi anemic talaga siya. Look at his hemoglobin. It's only 9.2. Normal should be at 14 and up. The hematocrit, which is also the same as your hemoglobin, uh, 28 yung kanyang Hematocrit as against a normal of 42 and up. The WBC was dangerously low, and that's, and that's what really scared me. It was only at 3,400. Normal should be 5,000 to 10,000. The platelet count explains the more than a year recurrent nose bleeding. It's norm, siya sa low normal. The bracket should be 150 to 450. He was only at 164. Kaya siya nagno nose bleeding. So I was tempted to refer him to the hematologist right then and there, but then I said, I would like to challenge him with him and see if it will work for you. Anyway, you've been through this for more than a year. What's another two weeks of trying to observe and monitor? So I placed him on him with him, two sachets a day, with instructions to come back after two weeks, but he came back more than a month, barely more than a month, and when he came back, three weeks na siyang walang nose bleeding, at kahit anong takbo niya, hindi siya hinihingal. Mm. 
And looking closely at his repeat blood count, May 29, the hemoglobin from 9 rose up to 13.9. And I said earlier, the normal is 14. So it's really at 14 na rin, ganon. The hematocrit from 28 rose to 42. The RBC count, well, it was not uh, indicated earlier. But the WBC from 3.4 rose up to 7,900. And the platelet count, unbelievable, 370. The reason why hindi na siya nagbibleed, ganon. When I interviewed the mother and son, most recently, when JP came over to our center, they invited the mom and dad. That was the only time I realized, sabi nung mom, actually, doctora, 12 days after pa lang, pinalipit si BC ko na. 12 days after pa lang ng him, him talagang lahat daw tumaas na. Sabi ko, ba't hindi mo pinakita sa akin yon. But nevertheless, it really underscores the point na it's not hemoglobin, him, him. It's not it's not him or him for nothing. Di ba sabi ko nga kanina, it can help increase the number of hemoglobin. So you can see very clearly in this example, also the WBC and even the platelets. So that has spared that child from too much physical and financial ordeal had I referred him outright to a hematologist. Nothing wrong with doing that, but I'm just so, ha so happy that right now, meron na akong ibang option. Kasi before I was introduced to this, wala akong option eh. It would have been easily dismissing the patient. Sige, so let, padala kita sa hematologist. Ngayon, ang dami ko ng options. And it's really making me a lot more fulfilled in my medical practice. Really. <laughs> so that was the comparison side by side. So him or him is perfect for everybody from athletes to housewives to workers to students to elders, we all need physical strength, especially so for the aging population because the aging population is more susceptible to a declining immune system.